Now I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of ways you can get into your higher up egg knot. And I'm also going to then do some playing around in the egg knot and then ultimately show you a box position and variations of the box. So my egg knot is fairly high. I'm gonna demonstrate a couple ways that you can get in. Um, one is just to invert and um, kind of do a little bit of a flip and land on your belly. Um, and it's a simple way to get into the egg knot. So I've separated the silks and the egg knot. I'm now going to invert and just lay on, on my belly. So as long as it's in my hips um, and I'm hiking over, kind of dead hanging, uh, I'm gonna stay secure and I'm not gonna go anywhere. From here to get in, I can pull my hands behind me and reach one silk, reach for one live end um, with one arm. From here, I can start to split my legs a little bit and start to twist. Grab again, and I'm in a seat. So, I'll demonstrate that again. I'm going on my belly first, and then I'm using that to turn myself around. Inverting to my belly, grab up with one hand, start to twist, and you can like, you know, pose here, do some fun things while you're getting up. Grab again, pull into your seat. And you're sitting in your egg knot. Another way is you can sort of do that all in one motion. So I'm pulling up and I'm starting to twist as, um, as I go into my seat. So I'm inverting and sort of landing on a side and then coming up. So it's basically just doing that a little bit faster. Pull up, sort of twist into your seat. From here, in my egg knot, I can start to play around. As long as you feel secure, you kind of learn where you're sitting in order to balance. Um, at first, it's good to have a hold of the live ends, but you start to find um, where it feels comfortable to balance. To stand up into the egg knot, um, it's easiest to put your legs straight, to lean back until you go to your knees. And then from here, um, from here, you pull one foot into, bend one of your knees to step onto the egg knot, the next one. And then to do this pretty, you can straighten your legs and arch up into your egg knot, into your standing. So again, um, you could do this, it could you know, either look, you can do this and just stand right up, right? But to make it pretty, find ways along the way to add some flair, you know, pull your leg up, run into it, come up and try to find those places to be pretty even while you're getting into your, standing up into your egg knot. From here, I'm gonna demonstrate a box. With the box, you just reach up as high as you can and you wanna get a good grip onto your live ends. From here, you're gonna pull yourself, you wanna use some strength with your arms, but ultimately you can leave your arms straight. And you're going to kind of start to sink your bottom back a little bit to pull your legs up and stand and get your arms straight. So you, you can keep your arms and legs straight during this. Start to push your bottom back a little bit so that you can start to straddle. Stand up and push out. And here, everything is really tight. My abs are staying tight. I'm putting tension on this. And I feel pretty good. I definitely have to balance though. That's just one way you can start to make this a little bit prettier by incorporating a split. So I'll reach as high as I can. And if you're flexible, you can really sink your bottom back and try to bring your legs as high as you can. 
you can start to sink in so that you're kind of splitting a little bit. So if I sink in, um, if I've gotten a really good split, I can start to sink in a little bit. Maybe try experimenting with letting a hand go and splitting, grabbing, coming down. So there's variations of that box where I can start to play with splitting a little bit. Again, just trying to push your bottom out and go as high as you can so that you can kind of sink into a split a little bit. And those are variations of box. To get out, you can just sit back down and screw your bottom out to where you can stand and come out of your egg nut.